Good evening, uh, Mr. Arun. All right, sir. Yeah, please. Uh, today I think of that, you know, uh, as I'm having a little bit of a throat problem, let my A speak on behalf of me. So may I turn on the uh, our uh, most intelligent AI, Jarvis? Good evening to all the exuberant educators. I welcome you all to the 148th web training series of CBSE Bharat Sahodaya. Now I take it as a pleasure to introduce today's moderator, Ms. Sholini Shanoi, who is holder of MA in English Literature, B.Ed., B.L.I.S., Diploma in Management of Learning Disability, Diploma in Career Counseling. Presently she is the Vice Principal of Crescent Public School, Chalakudi. She has rendered her service as a resource person for Co. Thiravananthem in Library Science, conducted several CBSE online training sessions, moderated sessions, and has been painless in various educational sessions. Sholanim is very passionate about books and reading. She has contributed articles and reviews in e-magazines, including article on prevention and management of substance misuse. Under the theme Education for Health and Wellness in CBSE Academic Branch In-House Biannual Educational E-Magazine, Senbosec July-December 2022. Ms. Sholini has been awarded the Extra Mile Educator 2022 for dedicated service in the field of education CBSE and Certificate of Honor for rendering selfless service as moderator at Bharat Sahodaya International Educators Conclave held at Thiruvananthem on 28 December 2022. Conferred District Governor's Excellence Award 2022-23 for exemplifying high ethical standards and dignity in teaching career by Chalakudi Central Rotary on the 2nd of January 2023. We are so glad to have you with us. I wholeheartedly welcome you to moderate this grand session. Please ma'am, over to you. Thank you, Mr. Arun Mohan, Always, for the kind words. Hello, and welcome to all the participants for the web training series on art integration conducted by BTAC in association with Bharat Sahodaya. Art integration is a cross curricular pedagogical approach that utilizes various aspects and forms of art and culture as the basis of learning concepts across subjects. It's a known fact that children express themselves, imagine and create without any inhibition through the arts. Art integrated approach will strengthen linkage between education and culture. And therefore, CBSC has suggested various activities that will help our children explore and learn new things in fun-filled environment. This approach provides students an opportunity to familiarize with culture, tradition, geography of various states and union territories as given in Ek Bharat, Shresh Bharat program. And today's session, we are sure, will be enriching and absorbing as most educators find it challenging to create simple, doable, age-appropriate art-integrated projects wherein learning takes place in an effortless manner. Now, moving on, let me welcome all of you once again and with a gentle reminder to keep a notepad and a pen ready to jot down points. We would appreciate if you keep your device camera switched on during the session. You may post your queries in the chat box. We have a question answer session at the end where all your queries will be addressed. We request you to raise your hands and wait for your names to be called during the question hour session. Stay connected. Till the end. Now, change is the hallmark of educational scenario. Keeping pace with the innovative knowledge and its propagation is the key to success. We have a visionary 
who strives to achieve excellence among the educators across India and abroad by imparting updates in various fields of education through seminars and interactive programs. He has distinguished himself in implementing tough decisions. An iconic leader in the field of education, I extend a warm welcome to the founder of BTAP, that is Bharat Transformers Academic Group, a consortium of educators and teaching fraternity across the globe, connecting them together to empower the nation. And he's also the patron of Bharat Sahodaya, CBSE master trainer, deputy training coordinator of Trivandrum region, and the list goes on. Yes, I'm talking about Dr. Abdul Salam, sir. I invite you, sir, to address the participants. Over to you, sir. Uh, thank you, Ms. Uh, Shalini. Good evening, everybody. Uh, good evening, Priya, ma'am, Mr. Aaron Mohan, all the participants. Good evening. Uh, Mr. Aaron Mohan, that was an excellent job by Jarvis. Yes, sir. Jarvis always rocks. <laughs> Thank you so much. And uh, all the educators, the CBC fraternity, we have, uh, you know, gathered again, once again, this week to discuss, to listen to about uh, art integration. We have done a couple of sessions on art integration, but still there will be something more. And it is uh, pretty important to listen to someone who has something to tell us. So uh, listening you know, is uh, a better way to learn more rather than speaking. Speaking is a repetition of the knowledge uh, we already have. So when we listen, we get some more knowledge. And uh, Shalini, ma'am, uh, thank you so much. And uh, uh, very nice to see you on this platform again and again. Uh, and uh, let us, you uh, know, and uh, Priya ma'am, both Shalini ma'am, Priya ma'am are from the CBC Resource Persons Fraternity. Both are doing uh, service to the CBSC Center of Excellence as well. And very nice to meet uh, Priya ma'am. And uh, Priya ma'am, I think she has, you know, uh, discussed with me about uh, such, you know, topic sometime back and we got this, uh, you know, opportunity only now. Anyway, uh, I take this opportunity to welcome Priya ma'am on behalf of everybody who have joined here and also Shalini ma'am and all. Let's listen to Priya ma'am and uh, enrich ourselves on art integration. Uh, we have new directives from CBSC and also we'll, madam will help us, you know, uh, go through art integration uh, the different uh, art forms and all and uh, through examples. And so thank you so much. Uh, once again, hearty welcome on behalf of Big Tag 148 Web Training Series. Thank you so much. Over to Shalini. Thank you so much, sir. Today, we have an eminent resource person who has dedicated her career to help students excel in English language for over 15 years. She's best known for distinctive, creative approach and engaging teaching style with extensive experience to hone vocabulary, speaking and advanced writing skills. She's worked with students of all ages from primary to university with prone track record of success. Unwavering commitment to learning led her to pursue PhD in education after MA English and MA. She's the school coordinator of Deep Memorial Public School, resource person for CBSE NOIDA, art integration training head. So ladies and gentlemen, presenting to you the resource person for today, Ms. Priya Gambhir. So what to you, ma'am? Good evening, very pleasant evening. I hope I'm audible to all. And uh, Suchi ma'am, uh, Thank you very much for such a heartening welcome. Thank you very much, Salam, sir. 
and uh, that was an eye opener anur anur sir it's a very first time for me to see ai being you know playing the cards here <laughs> so nevertheless uh, you know art integration and ai can be combined we'll be certainly you know talking about it so for further uh, ado let me just uh, share my screen give me a minute All right, I think it's uh, quite visible, right? Yes, ma'am. Okay, yes, ma so uh, art integration, not a new term, right? It has uh, been created a buzz, uh, I would say, and it's time to revisit, it's time to retrace, it's time to recapitulate what has been said by CBSC so far and what more. NEP, NCF, they both are, you know, mandating for us. All right. So when we talk about the word art, can you just see the screen? I mean, is it uh, working? Because yes, ma'am, we can see. Let me just, yeah. Before I start uh, with the uh, further presentation, uh, it's always ethical to... Uh, you know, open the source of information. So my sources uh, are these two booklet. Number one, Art Integration Learning from uh, NCERT. And uh, this one is uh, quite, it, it's very fancy. It's Art Integration by CBAC. NCRT has come out with one more booklet. I would be giving you a view of that. That is specifically for middle stage. And certain other, uh, you know, YouTube links and uh, videos I have taken to prepare this presentation. So all uh, credit goes to uh, the Google and the information. Now, when we talk about the word art, what is the first phrase or a word or sentence or expression that comes in your mind? I really want all the participants to give the keys in the chat box. And I would request Suchi Ma'am, to please read few, uh, you know, random answers for me so that, that let's see what all our participation, uh, participants are writing. What does art mean to them? How the word art translates uh, in the classroom? And what exactly they understand by the term art? Suchi ma'am, please. So they've written creativity, visualization, imaginative, creative, vision, a mode of expression, colors. You know, these are the answers that are drawing. <clears throat> these are the things that I can see. Joy, somebody's written joy. Right. Thank you, Suchi ma'am. So colors, joy, delight, isn't it? Look around you, your world, right now where you are sitting, everywhere you can see witness art. Be it the tapestry, be it your bed covers, be it your curtains, the labels, Everything is art. It has got patterns. It has got design. It has got colors, isn't it? So the point is when the art is around us, when we have been surrounded by art, then why we need art to be amalgamated in our education system. Now, uh, we have to understand that it's not a new concept. This is a concept which was uh, been earlier also. But now it has created a buzz. So we have to amalgamate. We have to enmash it in our disciplines. So here is uh, one uh, picture on the screen. Can you just see that our subjects, our disciplines, and the art is amalgamated? You know, I've just uh, coupled it up. So we, when we talk about festival, when we embrace ourselves with different uh, traditions, different dresses, when we talk in different languages, when we have different culture, when we talk about sciences, when we talk about mathematics, we cannot keep the art at distance, isn't it? Art is experiential and art is very much at its at the core of, uh, I would say, the education domain. Earlier, uh, the art was at, at the peripheral and the subjects were in the core, but now it has been vice versa. Now, 
the art is in the core and the subjects are just surrounding the art, isn't it? Now, I, I want all of you to again give me the keys. Dear participants, dear educators, let's wear your creative cap. And please let me know uh, what subjects hyphen, what topics do you think you can associate with this? Please, Suchi ma'am, just kindly uh, read the random answers, please. Social science, social studies, history, Dandia, mathematics, SSC, history. It's all history and social that they are coming up. Come history on, wear things. your creative caps. Festival. Just move beyond, move beyond the social sciences, please. Culture of India, story, painting, English literature, cultures, history, bio, languages. Okay. How about legend and myths? How about animal conservation and protection? How about flora and fauna? How about water conservation? Can you just see the water pouts over there? Isn't it? Why can't we take these kind of arts in the classroom and just ask our students to wear the creative caps? And uh, just, uh, you know, give them the space, the room uh, where they were going to broaden their horizon and they were going to, you know, just run their uh, imagination in different directions, isn't it? So this is Rajputani art and this is uh, from the Rajasthan. Certainly Rajasthan is one of the paired state. We're going to uh, talk more about it. So dear educators, Sometime to break the mundane, monotonous, um, you know, classroom settings, just play with these kind of activities and it will certainly going to give you overwhelming responses. Some responses you would not going to believe uh, would, uh, you know, actually going to, uh, you know, actually had been contributed by your own students. So they are much more creative. Now, the next slide is about toys and arts, indigenous toys. So having a look at this, can you just see that uh, though these are the Kondapalli toys, right? But these toys are also giving certain kind of message, isn't it? The farming is going on, then the tradition is there. You know, if you want to up the ante of uh, the order of uh, your uh, students, you can talk about spot a difference. Maybe you can compare uh, the tradition with the modern life. Maybe you can uh, talk about the transportation, isn't it? Maybe you can talk about uh, the different uh, kind of farming uh, models, which has certainly been changed. So please keep these kind of uh, toys in your classrooms or rather please involve in your, uh, I would say the curriculum grid, the yearly planner, uh, the uh, you know, aids uh, should be there or if not, I hope you people are well versed with the team, uh, term that is Jadui Pitara. These can be wonderful toys uh, to be a part of your Jadui Pitara where uh, NCF is talking about that toys are the best medium to educate the children, isn't it? Okay, so having said that, have a look of this box. I want first of uh, first of all, I want all of you to just scoop down the words of subjects or uh, I would say the discipline. Leaving the art behind, just scoop out the words related to your subjects or related to the curriculum. And uh, Suchi ma'am, quickly just uh, read out a few uh, words if uh, our participants are contributing. Can you just quickly uh, write, dear participants, dear educators? I letter, really want writing, to all... letter writing, math, math, English, geography, English, math, science, Certainly. Right. English, accounting, Pythagoras, mathematics, economics, and writing, dance, constitution, political science, letter writing, pronunciation. Okay. Thank History. you, Suchi ma'am. The list is endless here, isn't music. it? Music. music. Music is a discipline as well. Why? Yes, why not? Chemistry. So if you have to put uh, the art integration in front of you, this is what I can, you know, simplify it into, right? So this is a most defined and this uh, most uh, simplified uh, 
diagram or I would say the presentation of art integration. So when we talk about uh, letter writing, we can't keep uh, the Kathak away. You know, uh, if you just see the box clearly, there is a nail art also here. Hina is there, right? If you are aware with CBSE's uh, vocational subjects, there are now uh, CBSE is also offering uh, beauty and wellness, isn't it? Right. So, you know, these are the amalgamated, interconnected, cross-curricular approach in the pedagogy, as Uchi Mem has just said. So, even if you are talking about adjectives in English, you can teach this with the help of art. If you are talking about, uh, you know, certain kind of chemicals or the composition, go for baking. If you're talking about fractions, then there are a variety of ways uh, to teach fractions to the children, be it origami. If you're talking about mitosis, uh, you know, and, or the digestive system, go for the art which the art teachers have already taught in the classes, maybe by embroidery, maybe by DIY skills or best outdoor waste. Isn't it watercolor painting can be, you, you know, utilized and can be best way to uh, go for the science diagrams. So art and subjects, our disciplines are interconnected. You cannot keep these two at distance, isn't it? Now, who has introduced this? It was our Gurudev, Rabindranath Tagore. He has pioneered the idea of art integration. And this is uh, the topic of extensive research, okay? Uh, not only in India, but across the world. We are talking about how we can utilize the visual and performing arts into our teaching learning process and make it, uh, you know, more creative, right? Uh, it would going to be, uh, you know, helping hand in the, the cognitive development, problem solving ability, and the objective of art integration uh, endless. Not only this, our NCF 2005 also states that art education at any level or rather all level enables our pupils, our learner to appreciate and to experience the splendid of, uh, I would say, the society, the grandeur of society is to be added. You can't simply go for the rote learning or memorizing that would not going to suffice. That would not going to make our children a global children and where we have to go out and to certainly, you know, face the world. So art integration uh, has been uh, introduced and rather uh, being given to us. The idea by Rabindranath Tagore and even NCF is also talking about it. You know, uh, moving further, let's talk about the edge, uh, you know, objectives of art integration. Let me give you the keys here myself. So art uh, prepares every child to participate. Uh, art, uh, you know, transform the learning to joyful learning. Art helps you to visualize, uh, uh, you know, it's not an abstract. It's a very beautiful concept. There's a shift from rote learning. There's a transition of ideas. There is, you know, you have to understand that there is no authoritative method. Teacher, you know, changes her or his role to the facilitator. Teacher becomes the guide. Teacher becomes the coach in this whole domain, in this whole setup. Art also connects uh, our pupil, our children to the outer world. Right. It's a multidisciplinary uh, approach. Any subject or many subjects, I would say, can easily be connected. So no subject in isolation, isn't it? And when we uh, talk about the development factor so easily, you know, we inculcate uh, the respect. We inculcate uh, the celebration of our diversity. We are very lucky to have, uh, uh, you know, diverse culture, diverse traditions. And uh, the child get that uh, vision to understand or to deep dive into different cultures. And uh, that is a, a, you know, best scope to understand, isn't it? And the last but not the least, and that's the favorite to me, we all are aware with the term learning outcomes, isn't it? 
So it helps you to achieve the learning outcomes. Here, I would like to stress upon one very important point, dear teachers. There are two things in our lesson plans, learning outcomes and learning objective, isn't it? Focus on the outcome. That would help our learner uh, for the holistic development. That would going to you know, create and encourage more creativity. Our learners would going to become more problem solvers. So I think we had uh, given a lot of insights that what are the uh, endless objectives of art integration. Now, this is the slide which uh, is talking about the, the circular which has recently been released by CBAC. Right. So this circular is talking about NEP, if you can just see here. OK, so uh, the circular is uh, quoting the uh, words or, or the paragraph from the NEP, what exactly NEP has to say. That's the latest one. 2020 I'm talking about. So according to uh, that, art integration education will be embedded in classroom and it would going to, uh, you know, give the transaction not only for the creative joyful classroom but also about Indian ethu right that Indian uh, uh, I would say the patriotism the ethos would going to be um, certainly uh, you know encouraged if we will going to have art integration in our classroom settings moreover it would also going to strengthen the linkage between education and culture that is why the program of Ek Bharat and Shresh Bharat and its amalgamation has uh, been proposed or not been proposed rather it has been in continuation certain changes are there which I would certainly going to touch upon going further even NCF for foundational stage is also talking about art integration in a very precise manner and uh, I would like to congratulate the drafter CBSE NCRTs the way they have drafted NCF is certainly a vision. It is a wholesome thing. It is a treat to uh, the primary or the pre-primary teachers. It is giving you the whole lot of universe to bring down to your classrooms, isn't it? And uh, what a beautiful, uh, uh, you know, lines of phrases are quoted in this for art integration. I would really like to give a reading here. So children express themselves, imagine and create without any inhibition through the art form, isn't it? Maybe the child is not comfortable to speak or interact with the teacher. But if you give a clay dough and if the teacher would ask, to design something, the child will certainly going to transact his or her emotion with the help of that door. If you talk about the playful quality of the art, it is about self-expression. It's about uh, learning by doing, learning with fun. It's about, uh, you know, transiting uh, the rote learning method. You know, uh, you have to take everything into your classroom when you are preparing these young uh, uh, thoughts, I would say. They love to draw, they love to print, they love to make collage. You know that uh, uh, tear, tearing the paper and making that collage? They love and you see the precision of these younger kids, uh, the very... Uh, uh, you know, uh, this young tiny tots, if you're going to, you know, draw a circle and you will ask them to paste that bit of paper, they will ensure that it would not going to pass the circumference. So they are that much precise. It's just that you have to develop different kind of uh, methods for learning. It has to be creative. It has to have, you know, a little uh, a bit fun in that. And then you will see how the learning will going to happen in your classrooms. Now, talking about the implementation, we all know that uh, CBSC has introduced this uh, on 8th March 2019. And then uh, since then, a lot of uh, circulars we have got. Now, this why this latest one is different? Because this is talking about the mandate of project work from class first to class. 10 and then it is also throwing the light on the state um, uh, you know uh, this partnering state or I would say the blended kind of approach which we have to take care 
Now here are the guidelines, dear educators, for all of you. So here, uh, the very first and the prominent thing which I would like to highlight is that you have to have uh, the uh, you have to keep the age appropriate method. You cannot uh, just uh, go for the uh, you know scientific methods which are beyond the understanding of these children. Though there are a variety of projects, we are going to dwell into that at the later part uh, of uh, the presentation. That what kind of projects we can have in the classroom. But the very first and the prominent thing is that. Uh, age appropriate projects should be there then uh, the circular is also talking about these uh, projects will going to be interdisciplinary and not only that you have to amalgamate one state in least one project so please understand for students of class first to eighth it is interdisciplinary project right where you can uh, you know, couple one subject with another or maybe two or three subjects. I'll be uh, showing you examples for that as well. And while as you are doing it, please take care of the partnering state as per, uh, uh, you know, the list which CBSE is, uh, has given. And it is just there uh, in the next slide. I would certainly going to show that to you, right? And uh, for uh, classes first and second, we have to refer to the NCF. Uh, and uh, what kind of the projects will going to be there that is certainly given you can go for art you can go, go for drama you can go for dance you can go for health I mean a lot of uh, uh, rooms are there which you can explore for these uh, younger ones okay now here students will take up integration with any form of Indian art be it visual or performing art. When we talk about visual art, we talk about clay modeling, sculpture, painting, performing arts are dramas, uh, the debates are there, the role plays are there, and many more. But when we talk about Indian arts, we have to take care which state you are taking. Uh, and accordingly, you will going to choose that Indian art form. Right, again, uh, the same uh, point is uh, re, uh, you know repeated here that in minimum one, project work students would going to take up uh, at least one state that is uh, being listed under the project ek bharat shreshth bharat program okay and uh, the paired states uh, are uh, being given here right now again uh, before i move to the next slide may i first may i again tell you that how these two projects are different for classes first to eighth it is interdisciplinary projects. You can amalgamate different subjects and you have to take care of the state as well. The paired state, the partnering state should be taken in at least one project. Whereas if you're talking about for the grade 9th and 10th, these grades would going to have separate projects that will going to be taken as the enrichment activity or for their internal assessment and from these projects also minimum one project should amalgamate or integrate or add the partnering state from the project from the program ek bharat shresh bharat right and how would you going to design the project for that you have to uh, either sit with your art teachers or the HODs or maybe the, you know, curriculum grid planners or the coordinators. That's a whole, uh, you know, lot of uh, designing which is involved. And certain guidelines are given by CBSE also. If you uh, check uh, the 23-24 uh, the, uh, elaborate syllabus, which... CBSE has released for uh, grade 11 and 12. They have given the entire set of the projects, how to do, what to do, what are the different ways, what are different modes, the rubrics, the logbook, the timeline, everything is uh, sorted there. It's just that you have to plan the topics and how would you do so? That also I'll be taking it up further. Okay, so uh, let me just change the slide here. Okay, so uh, this is uh, the Kala Setu uh, portal. So once you would going to do the planning, your school uh, 
nodal teacher or whosoever is being uh, vested with the responsibility would going to put all these information time and again as and when CBSC would be asking right now we have already spoken about uh, grade first to eight interdisciplinary project amalgamation of a partnering stage ninth and tenth individual project again partnering stage is to be there you know has to be added one more thing which uh, this circular is talking about is AIL activities, that is art integration learning. Now, I would be broadly talking about this concept in my coming slide, but art integration learning would going to happen or rather has been happening from grade first to grade 12, okay? How it is different from art enhanced activities, or uh, art integrated activities, how it is the, the part of art education that I'm going to broaden up in the coming slides. Have a look of the pairing states. It has a little uh, change this time. Earlier Uttar Pradesh has got, um, uh, you know, Arunachal Pradesh and Meghalaya. Now Goa has taken Meghalaya, but a beautiful amalgamation. I have a lot of examplars to show you. I would going to take you to the tour of uh, beautiful states with beautiful culture and how you can take it forward in your projects. Okay. Art integration. This is uh, the umbrella, I would say. Under this comes art education. Now, what is art education? When art teachers are working with the learners with the students we call it art education now under this process the students are learning different forms of art be it worli be it uh, uh, you know tanjore art be it uh, you know the thread painting or the embroidery or maybe uh, collage designing or maybe origami you know certain kind of skills are being given to the learners in certain specific periods. I hope you are aware your uh, uh, timetable uh, up to class 10 must be having art uh, periods here, or uh, maybe, uh, you know, the vocational uh, education is a part, be it woodcraft, uh, be it music, be it dance, be it, uh, uh, you know, the tabla or different instruments. That's a part of art education only because that's a specific one. Uh, wherein you are uh, giving certain kind of skill training to these children. So that is art education. Now, when the subject teacher joins the game, it becomes art integrated or art enhanced activities. Now, what would this grid would going to do? How subject teacher would going to work here? Now here, subject teachers have, uh, you know, the onus is on subject teachers. She has to be having the idea that what her learners are learning in the art class so that that skill can be used and utilized in her teaching. Now, please uh, take care of one thing. She's not taking forward her concept with this form of art. Her concept clarity is over. She has taught the topic, but she just wants her learners to demonstrate that topic with the help of the art which her learners have learned in the art class. For example, if the science teacher is through with the nutrition in plants topic in grade seven, and she is aware that. Uh, you know, uh, her art teacher has, uh, you know, she has uh, taught her learner, uh, the you know, a certain kind of embroidery. So she would certainly uh, can ask the students, hey, since you have learned the embroidery, can you just make that, uh, you know, the structure of plant or maybe the label diagram of plant with the help of embroidery, just use different colors of the threads and just, you know, bring it into the classroom or maybe the phases of moon. So if the children have uh, learned these kind of, uh, you know, bits and bottle uh, designing, so that can also happen in the class. Maybe the, uh, you know, the planet diagram can be used with the help of these uh, 
art, uh, you know, education. Maybe you can ask your learners to come and sing a song and just, uh, you know, change the lesson into a poetry, isn't it? Maybe you can ask the, the children who have learned the clay modeling, you give a dough and you just ask uh, these uh, children to come out with a structure of uh, different um, body parts, if you would uh, going to talk about the, uh, you know, uh, the uh, science topics. And if I talk about uh, language, I love to take uh, the dramatization debate. Uh, I love to go for the role play. And uh, I love to take uh, the children uh, to woodcraft room and use uh, the, uh, you know, uh, the little pieces of woods uh, to, you know, come out with certain creative characters with the help of that. And uh, even the 3D models, we have one text in uh, class 12, third level, right? So I have asked the children to just design third level uh, with the help of wood. Go to woodcraft room. Since you have learned the woodcrafting, go and design the third level as given in the chapter. And beautiful models have come out. We have one text. We are not afraid to die if we all can be together. Label a uh, diagram of the ship. I have asked my children to go to the art and craft room. One group has gone to the art and craft room. Another has gone to clay modeling room. Another one has gone uh, to the woodcraft room. And please bring me different uh, models of the ship. And then we're going to demonstrate it in the class. That's the magic of art education. And that's the magic van which we have got as a subject teachers. So our, uh, you know, a little responsibilities has been given to our art teachers here, right? So this is how art integrated or art enhanced activities can be taken up by the subject teachers with the help of art education. Coming up next, very important part, art integrated learning. Dear educators, this is totally different from art activities which we are doing in the classroom. This is our tool. This is the tool of the facilitators, educators, teachers, we are expected to integrate art while delivering the concept, isn't it? So how are we clarifying the concept based on subject LOs, uh, learning outcomes? It's all listed uh, in our uh, curriculum. Even the art integration booklets are also talking about the learning or objectives or learning outcomes on the basis of art integration. Lesson planning also we do with the help of these. So. This is our aid, our tool. This is uh, something which we were going to take up in our classroom when we are teaching the concept, right? Okay, and we have to take care of the art integrated projects as well, especially in the higher grades, in the higher uh, classes. These projects are of great relevance. I'll be again coming back to uh, the concept clarity and the concept of art integrated learning with the help of certain examples. Okay, so art integration in education. These are the different ways and means with which you can uh, talk about, uh, you can just take the art to your classroom. These are the suggest, uh, suggestive activities. You can put up art exhibitions. You can talk about uh, the, you know, you can go for the jewelry making, paper quilling is there, dance performance, sketching is there, visit to historical place and monuments. Please come to Delhi once and please visit uh, Pradhan Mantri Sangralia right it is not only about the different uh, pms of our country it's about the modern history decoded in the best possible manner arun sir it's all uh, you know filled with ai and it's certainly a different experience so if you would like to give a field trip if you will, uh, would like to amalgamate that in your uh, social sciences even in science even in languages and many I mean, I would say uh, all disciplines and subjects can be sorted if you were going to pay a visit there. Apart from that, there are many other historical or uh, different concept uh, created places which we can amalgamate. Now the virtual tours are there. If you cannot take your students out, give a virtual tour to different places and they will certainly going to give uh, the creativity uh, with their hands, right? We have dance performances. We have been doing it, uh, right? 
I mean, the list is endless. This is just a glimpse. You can, I'm sure you can add 100 into that, isn't it? So going further, this is the layout. How would you going to do art integrated learning in classrooms? Okay, uh, let me take an example. So um, we have a text. Though I'm taking example from my discipline, but don't worry, my uh, uh, PowerPoint presentation is filled with each and every discipline which uh, CBSE offers. So don't worry about it. And plenty of examples are there uh, for uh, you know your reference. Uh, we all have heard, or rather, we all have seen Tom and Jerry show, right? Please raise your hands. I mean, virtual hand raising if you have seen. Can you imagine class? 12th students being shown Tom and Jerry show a glimpse of that wherein cheese fight is going on so you know Jerry and Tom they are fighting for that small piece of cheese I'm sure you have worn your creative caps or you're just visualizing transported carried away to your childhood times isn't it now this a clip or this cartoon character I have taken to the classroom as an ice breaking activity to introduce the text, the rat trap, to introduce the metaphor, to introduce the central idea, and to introduce the theme. Right? We have Mother's Day tomorrow, 14th May. Beautiful cards, and then I have started the poem My Mother at 66. In the classroom, I always, uh, you know, uh, ask my uh, curriculum designer or uh, the coordinator who takes care of these uh, designing to keep uh, this poem, especially in these days, so that, you know, certain activities can be planned. So, yes, you have to do, you know, planning. You have to have uh, that level of understanding that how well you can integrate art and how you will going to keep that art as your aid, as a medium of your, uh, uh, you know, concept clarity, and what kind of creative inquiry it's here, you would going to provide for hands-on learning to your students. Okay, now, though we are doing art integrated learning, our learners are not sitting quietly, they are observing, they are deducing, they are thinking, they are also, uh, you know, giving their creative, uh, uh, you know, uh, interventions, many more things they are doing. And then yes, we, there will be a reflection and we will going to assess. Now assessment part is involved here. And how will we going to assess these, um, uh, you know, activities that also we'll be talking about. Okay, my favorite uh, phrase, oh dear, carry the eight extra red earring inside. Now, this is what our learners will be doing in the classroom. Please, uh, you can take a picture of this uh, phrase or you can just, you know, make your own jingle uh, for uh, understanding these few words which are listed uh, on my left hand side. This is what your learners will be doing when you are using art in the classroom, not as the art integrated activity or art enhanced activity. You are doing art integrated learning here. You are teaching, you are clarifying the topic. So at that time, your learner would be observing, deducing the information, creating something in the middle, thinking, giving you interventions, experimenting, experiencing, recreating, maybe giving you the influences that, you know, uh, if this would have happened, you know, the decision-making chart can be there. We'll explore further, um, uh, you know, results and we're going to do the wonderful thing that is imagining, isn't it? Okay, we have already spoken about this. Uh, again, uh, it's about uh, why art integrated learning and why it is important, it's pertaining uh, to our uh, learning domain because uh, NCF is also talking about it. So education through art, where learning take place using different art forms as tool, that, that is we are using it in the teaching learning process. It makes the learning joyful. It gives you the uh, hand uh, hands-on experience to your learners 
and that is certainly experiential in learning and uh, that's a true different experience i would say right so that's why art integrated learning is way too different from art enhanced activities have a look of different visual art forms and performing art forms and how you can just uh, take it forward in your classroom in the form of general assemblies teaching learning process and interhouse activity now my teaching learning process here uh, it actually uh, involves everything, you know, your projects work, your assignments, your homework, your assessments, that's a part. Apart from that, you have journal assemblies. And again, you can uh, uh, just, uh, you know, design a whole lot of uh, activities, interhouse competitions on the basis of these. The list is for you to refer. Uh, I have written one word here. It's deed. D-E-E-D. -E -E -D. Can anybody please uh, give me a key and uh, can elaborate uh, this word for me? What is the meaning? What is the full form of this word? Suchi, ma'am, can you please help me out if anybody has written? Sure, ma'am. Sure. That's a Actions. new term. Actions? No. Okay. It's D stands for debate. Demonstrate, diagram. Okay. That's a example. Okay, let me let me introduce this term, uh, dear educators, and uh, you may use deed in all your subjects. It's not the language central. Okay, it's not the language uh, specific. It's a central term. It can be taken in all the disciplines. Deed stands for debate, extempore, elocution, and declamation. Right. So if you're taking deed in maths, if you're taking deed in science, it's it's a, it's about speaking. It's about explaining. Right. It's about taking reference uh, to the classroom. So debate, declamation, extempories and eloquations. Right. Then you have dear approach also. I hope you all are uh, well aware. So dear approach is also performing art, which I have not listed here. Drop everything and read whatever. So bell will be sounded. Right. You, you can give uh, this uh, dear approach time in your, uh, you know, you can be, you can have the quality circle time in your zero periods, recreation periods, which generally the school keeps. So maybe uh, once in a, um, you know, week, you can keep the dear approach. So random reading, but yes, a reading with a purpose, a reading to explore reading. And then you can have, uh, you know, being a class teacher, you can take it forward, what the children have uh, read. Then, you know, you can uh, go for the story narration or, you know, stringing the story further. It's there are a variety of ways, right? Apart from that, uh, just a small glimpse of the Bala system building at, as learning aid. That is That also can be taken up in the school, uh, you know, activities, how you can use uh, the, you know, infrastructure of your school for the learning purpose. All right. Okay. The examplers. For English, you have posters, role play, story through drawing, puppet, clay uh, modeling, spinner yarn, storytelling through origami, scrapbooks. Okay, comic scripts, isn't it? One of the best method to deduce the information in a form of picture. And it can be done in a group as well, isn't it? So collaboration, the... 21, uh, 21st century's uh, skills which you're talking about, collaboration is there, communication is there, isn't it? So that also we were going to take up. Theatres are there, one of the best way to portray the emotions. Then for science, you have concept through story, role play. Uh, science teacher can uh, talk about uh, the, uh, you know, uh, formula of water with the help of the story, how water has... Uh, come to the formation so there was oxygen and hydrogen and how they have come out they have amalgamated or you know any kind of yarn can be uh, drafted for the same the dance forms can be used for rotation and the you know you can uh, talk about uh, uh, the different forces with the help of the dance then culinary arts can also be there composition of the food chemical reactions can be taken up uh, uh, with the help of culinary arts we can uh, use uh, and uh, you know these uh, uh, 
DIY skills and reduce, reuse, and recycle. We have to be eco friendly, minimal uh, use of uh, minimal wastage. We have to take care of that. Clay modeling, the best way, uh, you know, for the younger ones, isn't it? Now, painting is there, worldly art, mandala art, our Indian arts can be taken up in mathematics for, you know, the nature, can, the, the structure of the leaf. Uh, maybe if you cut uh, a lemon and you can just see the pattern there, that is also the form of a mathematic concept which can be taken uh, into your classroom. Then uh, rangoli and the pattern can be taken up with the help of that. Isn't it pattern drawing for more references, early arts, and just quickly, you know, uh, taking this forward because we all have been doing it. That's not new to us. Okay, mock elections in social studies, isn't it? And especially, I would tell you, uh, we all have the investiture ceremony, our uh, student council, isn't it? Or uh, the senate, as we call them, isn't it? The senators. You can ask them to go for uh, these uh, portfolio making or campaigning and you will see that social sciences are involved. They will use all that political science uh, theories into that. They will take uh, the, you know, the vocabulary from political science or legal studies and that can easily be done, isn't it? So uh, the concept clarity plus the fun, uh, the teamwork, collaboration is there, communication is also coming. So we are actually nailing uh, so many spots with one single uh, activity here. We, you know, here, it, this activity is uh, best for interdisciplinary uh, project, isn't it? The writing part is there, maybe the uh, pamphlets which they have, uh, you know, they can draft in, uh, they can be bilingual or any uh, language which is uh, being, uh, uh, you know, chosen that can also be taken up further, right? The speaking skills will going to be uh, done here so that water scarcity, so the poster designing is going on, teaching learning process, beautiful posters were there uh, for your reference. Then interhouse activity, mime. You know, generally, uh, you can't put everything into words, isn't it? Sometimes we feel that we are short of words. Take the art of mind to your classroom. And very sensitive topics, be it gender sensitivity, female 40 size, or any uh, kind of topics where the word feels short can be taken through miming, isn't it? So we have these kind of dances. So, you know, the Indian ethos and the patriotic uh, fervor can be celebrated. You can see these beautiful, uh, this, the setup is there. The skit is going on, right? Then here we have the examples where you would going to take the Ek Bharat, Tresh Bharat program uh, into your considerations for uh, the partnering states. So the dance form is there, the food is there, the uh, art is there, then tradition is there, then the toys are there, you know, artifacts are there, right? See the beautiful Rajasthani scenes set up in the classroom, isn't it? The bangles are there, the different umbrellas and the embroideries, the puppetry is there, and this is how they are transforming the classroom into Rajasthan live from one of the schools or, you know, in any part of this uh, country, right? This is a glimpse for uh, mine. I'm just quickly skipping it out because I would like to take you further for the project. So here. All right, dear educators, this is the most awaited part, uh, the projects, isn't it? So this is uh, one of the sampler for IPBL, Integrated Problem Based Learning. So what has, uh, what has been integrated? The central theme, okay? We have integrated the subjects also and we have uh, integrated the uh, topic as well. So uh, in coming slides, you will see that uh, the fiber or fabric or the weaver or the clothes, you know, these things will going to be shown in different subjects. So this is a uh, science for you. So essential questions, the ice breaking questions uh, are given 
followed by two kinds of activities and they are they are also taking SDG goals as well. Can you just see that? It's SDG 14 and 15. And then they are talking about SDG 3 as well. And certain uh, videos are there. They are talking about textile industries and how they are causing air and water pollution and how the depletion of flora and fauna, you know, it is happening because of the industrial waste, right? So this is one of the example of science. Taking the same topic forward, we have uh, uh, given the maths project here where we are comparing quantities and symmetry. Again, the bar graph and uh, you would going to take the concept of symmetry with the help of uh, these activities. Now, what exactly is to be done here? Please have a look. You would going to compare the yearly production of these two companies which are coming out in this slide. Okay, so companies are there. Uh, these are the textile uh, companies and the bar graph presentation is expected by the children. Then activity two is about Indian fabrics, patterns and designs. Now, what a child would going to do? Child will going to look around in his house and would going to cut down the uh, different uh, clothes, I would say, which has got different patterns or different, you know, symmetry, and then we're going to write the reflection. So, you know, the amalgamation is happening not only of the subject, not only of uh, the, I would say, the concept, but the child has got inquiry, isn't it? The child would certainly going to explore his uh, vicinity, right? The child will going to look around that what is, uh, you know, the, he will certainly going to pay attention to different kind of patterns, different kind of embroideries which are uh, there in his house, but he hasn't ever seen maths in that, right? So you have taken maths to the uh, household and this is how the child would going to take it forward. How can we leave our language behind, isn't it? Again, the theme is uh, weaving together and the child is expected to write an autobiography of your favorite dress. Okay, and trust me, the answers were outstanding, overwhelming, and so spellbounding. I can't, I really wanted to take uh, one example here. I really wanted to, uh, you know, give a hearty reading, but then there are different concepts which are to be elaborated. Beautiful answers we have got, right? Social science, fiber, and fabric. It's about Indian cotton and textile in industry right now in the ancient time. So the comparative study is there. It's about textile industry in India. It's about India uh, with the world, how different uh, parameters are the, there for different textile industries. So this is uh, the, uh, uh, see the uh, chapter name, very beautiful, shirt in the market, isn't it? We haven't thought ever how our shirt have landed to the markets, <laughs> but these children has you know have been given uh, the uh, you know space I would say room where they will going to explore with the you know help of uh, their facilitators and uh, you know their projects and would do the case study and would going to talk. <laughs> We can't leave the, uh, you know, third language, I would say. This is a trend in Indian schools, right? Global language or uh, maybe the international language being a part now. We are giving trainings. We are uh, keeping it as a part of our uh, curriculum. So Japanese kimono dresses and, uh, you know, they are supposed to design their own dress and they are supposed to tell which fabric would they going to use and which fabric actually the Japanese use for their wedding ceremonies. You can, you know, uh, come out with a whole lot of uh, different activities. It's just that you have to sit, you have to plan elaborately, isn't it? Business studies. Uh, I think we do not have much time. I would love to show you this uh, video. This is uh, the Dabba Walas, okay? Mumbai Dabba Walas. Now this is art integration learning happening okay this is ice breaking this is about uh, deducing about uh, experience uh, you know ex uh, experiencing about uh, reflecting okay so teacher has uh, shown this 
right? And then she has introduced the idea of management skills. And then she has discussed a uh, whole lot of need and importance and function of management. Now, why Mumbai Dabawalas? They are flawless in their jobs. They are masters in management. So if you have to learn the skill of management, watch this video. <laughs> okay. Okay. Rabne Banadi Jodi. Fine. <laughs> Before starting the concept, the law of diminishing marginal ut uh, utility. Economics teacher has taken the classroom to the movie hall. Just a small uh, clip we have shown to our uh, learners. Okay, so what happened? Uh, this uh, clip is uh, actually elaborating uh, that, you know, when the, the consumption increases, isn't it? Then uh, there is a graph of your, uh, you know, want or your desire that goes down. So with the help of this, facial expressions, critical analyzing, the learners have understood the law of DMU. So movies are the best medium of art integration and uh, children do connect with that readily, isn't it? Okay, physics in the classroom. Projectile motion, we all are aware about it. Take the children to class, uh, from classroom to the sports uh, ground and ask them to explore this motion uh, while they are playing football, while they are uh, playing volleyball, while they are, uh, uh, you know, uh, going for the basketball or they are, uh, you know, playing the badminton, right? So before that, I mean, uh, this is again art integrated learning. So the teacher has first taken uh, the students to the, to the ground and just ask them to observe and then, Immediately after the observation, the children were taken to the classroom, then the topic was introduced and then again, they have been taken back to the uh, ground because now they can reflect the knowledge which they have gained and uh, the previous knowledge which they have absorbed from the uh, sports ground. So that concept has been taken up. Okay, Ek Bharat Shresh Bharat. Okay, so uh, again, this is uh, one of the example where uh, the, you know, calligraphy and different uh, writing forms were being asked to use to write the dance form of Arunachal Pradesh and uh, the partnering uh, state, I would say, for maths, asked art integrated project. The PowerPoint presentation on the air quality index of the capital of uh, Meghalaya and Arunachal Pradesh and Uttar Pradesh. Please remember one thing, the partnering state will going to be focused, but you would not going to leave the other state. That's a comparative study which you have to take care in your Ek Bharat Shresh Bharat program. Then only we will be able to, uh, you know, uh, celebrate the diversity. Then only we would be able to recognize uh, the diversity, I would say. Then only we'll be able to compare the difference. So please give proper weightage to both the states. Okay, so uh, this is a science, hydropower station of Meghalaya, hydropower station of Arunachal Pradesh. And, uh, uh, you know, that's a group project, how electricity is produced using hydropower. Uh, stations in Meghalaya and Arunachal Pradesh. This is the elaborated project, right? Even uh, children were being asked to go for one educational toy also, came to explain any scientific concept. Okay, so this is uh, the uh, extra activity, I would say, which has been added here. But other than that, the sciences, are, uh, uh, you know, the subject science has been taken uh, with the help of hydropower station and uh, the partnering states are taken care, right? Social science, if I talk about, it is talking about historical background and the famous monuments. It is talking about ruling party in the state. It is talking about the chief minister, talking about the governors and, uh, you know, flora and fauna, so many things in social sciences. I think when we talk about uh, these states, social science is the most comfortable, <laughs> uh, you know, subject which can be amalgamated. IT is there, some PowerPoint presentation about communication and infrastructure growth. Okay, 
So you have to actually deep down. I let you know how you will uh, prepare this these kind of projects. Hindi, so up, you know that is also you can write a letter to your pen friend. You can ask your uh, friends to go and to visit Meghalaya, and maybe you have visited and you are uh, asked to uh, you know design a brochure about it. Maybe you have been uh, asked to talk about the education setup or education domain of these states. What's the difference? What kind of schooling is there? What kind of curriculums are there? Isn't it? So these kind of activities can be taken up. Okay, now this is one of my favorite, which we have taken in the art integration. So what has been done? We have uh, divided the class into different groups and we teachers have first done the uh, wholesome intensive research of uh, the musicians of Meghalaya and Arunachal Pradesh. Then we have paired it. If you can just see, these are from two different states. So you have to do a little homework before, uh, you know, designing a project. So this is what we have done. And then we have asked them to go for a PPT presentation. And these are the things, portfolios, which we wanted them to add. And this is how it has come out. So they are the famous musicians of Meghalaya and Arunachal Pradesh. And, you know, children really loved it because that was of their interest, isn't it? The music that actually fancy them a lot, and especially this generation with the so many, uh, you know, music genres, I would say they love that. Okay. Okay, uh, the comparison between two states, Gujarat has got whirly painting, mirror work, and Chhattisgarh has got uh, cotton fabric painting, bamboo arts, you have to do certain homework. Now, these kind of, uh, you know, PDF booklets are uh, very much available for your access on Ek Bharat, Shresh Bharat portal. Other than that, you can uh, go for the tourism, Indian tourism portal. And if you can just go to the state portals, you will going to get a lot of uh, literature and a lot of information about the pairing states. Okay. So the dance forms. Okay, now uh, this calendar of Ek Bharat Shresh Bharat is uh, proposed by CBSC. Now this year, it is a mandate to prepare it. CBSC would be asking the schools to submit the report well in advance. Mind it. So your action plan should be ready by now. Anytime CBSC will going to ask you to submit uh, the Ek Bharat, Shresh Bharat, uh, uh, you know, planner of the school for the entire academic year. So this initiative of Ek Bharat, Shresh Bharat, it was announced by Honorable Prime Minister on 31st October 2015. This was the occasion of 148th birth anniversary of Sardar Ballabhai Patel. What is our uh, objective? It is a uh, uh, very innovative, uh, you know, approach to uh, give the knowledge of culture, tradition, different practices, understanding of diversity, bonding, isn't it? And strengthening the unity and integrity of India. Celebration in diversity, in difference is something which we have to keep in our mind. This is a broader, you know, objective of Ek Bharat, Shresh Bharat. You have to celebrate, you have to promote, you have to showcase, you have to establish and you have to create learning. You have to promote learning, not only learning of your subjects, learning of environment, learning of different traditions, learning of different culture, customs, dressing, you know. Diversity itself has got a lot to do uh, with the knowledge and we feel that it is pertaining. It's very much essential for our Indian students to be well versed uh, with the history, with the uh, you know state culture, with the traditions. They should be knowing and they should appreciate that, right? So that is uh, the endeavor of uh, CBSC, I would say to, uh, uh, you know, give uh, that kind of development to our children, wherein they would not only going to develop uh, their skills, 
but they would going to be introduced to the diversity of these states as well and they will going to appreciate they will going to explore they will going to encourage uh, these kind of uh, uh, you know different uh, i would say traditions which these states are you know filled with now this is the sampler of the calendar which i'm talking about there are certain things which schools would be doing right so it is broadly classified if you can just have a look so you would uh, going to uh, do certain things uh, in the academic year and certain things the state boards or the central board would going to tell you when and how it is to be done okay and uh, whether it is to be done uh, once in in a year whether it is it is to be a it should be a part of the entire academic year whether you have to do it every week whether you uh, take it uh, you know uh, to your school premises or maybe outside everything will be there and uh, very soon very soon uh, the state portals would going to open lbs is working on that so the report of ek bharat shresth bharat would going to be forwarded to that portal okay so please be ready with this action plan okay this is how it would going to look okay two days every month you have you can amalgamate uh, in the morning assembly maybe a talk are about uh, news on the partnering state right maybe the pledge of uh, on swachh bharat or maybe the uh, plastic waste or water saving in different languages which are uh, of those partnering states right maybe the fashion show uh, of uh, these two partnering states apparels isn't it maybe uh, you know you can uh, ask the children to go for uh, the research and you can interview you can put up an interview uh, in a morning assembly where uh, the children are portraying the natives of different states and they are talking about their values their education their taboos their tradition and uh, you know different forms isn't it then we have state day celebrations you have to celebrate the state day of uh, not only partner state but your own state as well so these are the things which you have to take care the quiz competition poetry recitation uh, you can have the cultural competitions also now please uh, uh, just have a look on uh, in column number 3 this is very much important right so it is talking about how it is to be done and i don't think there is any modification required need not to modify it since uh, on the same lines you can go with your own action plan and you will be sorted i know it's little time consuming uh, that is why that is why uh, uh, even uh, we are also saying uh, to different schools if you can't do uh, the art integration with each and every lesson at least educators should draft their lesson plan and integrate the uh, art education or art integrated learning at least twice or thrice right so that they will come they will be comfortable and then you can prepare your uh, i would say the repository or you can document it for the next year and then you can go further you can just uh, you know go through that what where, where the lapses were and where the improvements are required and accordingly you can go forward right okay uh, this is a, a circular which i am talking about this is how you have to amalgamate 16 uh, uh, you know uh, pairs have been made and this again i'm just i've just taken the reference of one of the state it is uttar pradesh which has been paired with arunachal pradesh so this is what i'm coming uh, 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 you know next to is uh, the action plan of uttar pradesh since my school is in uttar pradesh so i had to uh, draft the action plan of my uh, 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 institution and how will we go forward with ek bharat shresth bharat program so have a look of annual action plan of the school Uh, situated in uttar pradesh which has been paired with arunachal pradesh of course the objective is to celebrate unity and diversity and here it goes for your reference okay so we have uh, taken the activity of uh, uh, you know bhasha anek arth ek we have uh, taken a lot of uh, chitra or mitra in art integration chitra and mitra okay so these are the uh, you know glimpses which uh, you can just uh, have it for your reference we have given the learning outcomes also without learning outcomes any project which you are working 
certainly go in vain. You have to have the purpose and very clear goal should be there. Okay, very small goals, doable, as Madhusuchi ma'am has mentioned, achievable, attainable, practical, pragmatic, and, you know, uh, the burden shouldn't be there. It should be done in a very joyous manner. Child should look forward, oh, wow, now I have to do this. Let's explore. And thanks to our AI and uh, a lot of applications, our children are very smart, very smart. Their imagination knows no bound. And yes, we all know multiple intelligences, isn't it? One size can't fit for all. So even the teachers are also supposed to be, you know, having different dimensions, working on different directions, and then they, are, they can at least live up to the expectation. If I simply go and start with the reading of the chapter and we're going to talk about the theme and we're going to talk about that the stories about this, these are the protagonists. Oh, sorry, it's very boring. I have to have their attention, their concentration, you know, intact, right? They should be inquisitive that what man would going to tell next. Okay, they have to take the imaginary flight to different domains. Uh, you know, they have to imagine, they have to travel, isn't it? So for that, the creativity, the, you know, uh, the exploration supposed to be encouraged for that. The annual action plan is required. Now, please have a look. We have taken the languages here. We have taken uh, the subjects also. And we have taken care of all the arts also, you know, integration of subjects as well, political science, when you are talking about the news time in the assembly, right, you are nailing political science, right, when you are giving the weather forecast, you are nailing sciences, and when you are reading out the news with intonations, expressions, you are nailing languages, isn't it? So disciplines, subjects, learning outcome, and the partnering state, all three at same page. And this is how you have to plan the Ek Bharat Shresh Bharat program for the entire school. And you have to take care of the classes also because, uh, you know, all the classes at one time can't go with that. So that bifurcation is also very, uh, I would say, we actually deep, uh, uh, you know, we have taken a, a deep dive lot of brainstorming, a lot of planning, a lot of drafts and a lot of del deliberations, I would say certain arguments. <laughs> and then we have landed up and we have planned this Ek Bharat Shrej Bharat action plan. Okay, digital photo collage. How can you leave selfies? Photography, uh, you know, is one of the favorite, uh, uh, I would say the yawner for our young generation. So give them. Give them that liberty to use their imagination, isn't it? So, uh, shapath, not pledge, you know, use some different words to grab their attention. Then they would going to, you know, take up these activities with all, uh, you know, I would say a lot of interest. Okay, now <laughs> planning is fine. Mind it, there is something which has to be taken care. That is the report which CBSC is asking the coordinators or the pedagogical leaders or the principals to submit. So please keep the records of the videos, photographs, reports, and uh, you know certain prerequisites are given. What are the prerequisites? That photographs are to be taken, videos are to be taken, reports are to be taken, and you have to tag it, uh, hashtag CBSE, EBSE, Ek Bharat, Shresh Bharat, and you have to put it on your social media. Right. All right. Certain example of uh, math integration and uh, the uh, state. This is a map of India in the visual art form or digital art form, I would say. The art is Jammu and Kashmir. So, snowflake. Okay. So, again, the creativity, the flight of, uh, you know, imagination how snowflake can have, uh, you know, these kind of patterns, right? This is how you are supposed to, uh, I would uh, tell you uh, to, um, you know, expand the domain of uh, your thinking, your creativity, and then yes, your children, your learners, your students, your pupils, they all are very creative. 
I know we have to do a lot. We have been doing a lot. And thanks to, uh, I would uh, rather uh, like to give a salute to all of us. We have uh, waded through that to very successfully to the pandemics when our uh, schools have been translated or rather transformed in our uh, households, maybe in the dining areas or drawing room areas. And we did it. Uh, we did actually art integration very well at that time as well, isn't it? So now, to, now we are having all, uh, you know, uh, the excess of resources with us. So, uh, you know, it's time to celebrate the learning. I know the uh, schools are expecting a lot from our, us, right? But I think that's our karma. That is what we have chosen this, uh, uh, you know, profession. And I would really uh, like to read a couple of lines, which I love. Uh, uh, which actually uh, gives the guiding force for me to strive uh, better. And uh, here it goes. So, Shri Krishna kaha hai ki, bas karm tumhara kal hoga. Aur karm mein agar sachai hai, to karm kaha nishfal hoga. Har mushkil ka hal hoga, wo aaj nahi to kal hoga. Loha jitna tapta hai, utni hi taakat bharta hai. Sone ko jitni aag lage, वो उतना प्रखर निखरता है हीरे पे जितनी धार पड़े वो उतना खूब चमकता है मिट्टी का बर्तन पकता है तब धुन पे खूब खनकता है सूरज जैसा बनना है तो सूरज जैसा जलना होगा नदियों का आदर पाना है तो पर्वत छोड़ निकलना होगा और हम आदम के बेटे हैं क्यों सोचे रहा सफल होगा हर मुश्किल का हल होगा वो आज नहीं तो कल होगा संघर्ष जरूर सफल होगा वो आज नहीं तो कल होगा विद दैट आई एम ओपन टू द क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम माई डियर एजुकेटर्स थैंक यू वेरी मच फॉर हैविंग मी हियर फॉर गिविंग दिस अपॉर्चुनिटी सुची मैम ओवर टू यू इफ वी आर हैविंग सर्टिन क्वेश्चन आई वुड लव टू आंसर दैट Thank you so much, ma'am, for the wonderful session. If you have, if you can scroll uh, the comments coming in the chat box, you know, oh, um, sure. wonderful uh, response from the uh, participants. So before asking, uh, you know, yeah, giving them opportunity to ask questions, there are a few in the chat box. There are a few questions. Can I just ask them? ट Yes, ma'am. Next question. Uh, next, uh, they wanted to know about activities related to Sanskrit, Sanskrit art. Uh, okay, can you suggest Again, something. The same, uh, you know, the way you go for the activity of Hindi, then the same way you can go with the activity of Sanskrit as well. Uh, languages have got, uh, you know, everything to do with speaking, learning, uh, listening, writing. In the same way, you can amalgamate any language into that, right? And when we talk about Sanskrit. you can talk about the scriptures maybe the dohas which are written in sanskrit isn't it you can ask them to write in beautiful calligraph or you know in colors patterns or maybe uh, you can ask uh, them to demonstrate in a form of comic script ask uh, them to uh, you know design a comic script but the dialogue should be in sanskrit beautiful it will going to come out and uh, what about grammar classes the grammar classes question. Yes, yes. Uh, you know, uh, we have adjectives, we have nouns. Uh, you know, and uh, ask them. You know, you do a flip teaching there. Your flip right. teaching methodology would, you know, work well with the grammar classes, and you are adding the performing art here, isn't right. it? Okay. So you give a very uh, simplest rote learning, or maybe a simplest uh, concept of uh, adjective. and ask them now you have to teach and you have to use aids from your vicinity from your surroundings art integration uh ma'am just one more question i think you've answered this how can ebs be be applied in school assemblies i think you have told yes i have it. i have you know evs is all about uh, you know when you're talking when you're giving the news reading 
isn't it? When you're talking about different states' traditions, talking about different states' culture, it's CBS, it's, it's all around. I mean, you, you can put it in a form of drama. So you can amalgamate EBS with English, isn't it? You can amalgamate EBS with Hindi. Art integration for pre-primary kids. Okay. I have a, a very good book for that, recently released by NCRT. And pre-primary kids are uh, the best learners. You know, Jadui Pichara is there for them. Uh, you can uh, take toys there. Maybe the clay dough. Uh, maybe pasta. Do they love pasta? Junk yes. food? Take it to the classroom. Ask them to, uh, you know, use the, you know, the pennies of those pastas or the macron macronies of those pastas and you know, form their favorite, uh, uh, you can uh, diagrams with that. Maybe a circle, maybe simple, simple, uh, you know, triangles can be formed with the help of those pastas. They love it. Isn't it? So pre-primary has got a lot with the poems. Number poem uh, is there. Then you can ask them to dress up in different characters. They love it. Ask them uh, which is their favorite character. And uh, then uh, you can ask them to speak few lines on that. I mean, you can't go for the uh, traditional method in pre-primary sections, I may tell you. You have to devise out a lot of ways and means. And that is art integration. True, ma'am. So now the session is almost over. Question hour session is, uh, is going to begin. Audience, if you want to ask a question, kindly raise your arms. We are waiting for your responses. Any questions? Participants can raise their hands, so we'll unmute to ask questions. Do we have any, ma'am? I think it was self-explanatory. <laughs> okay, let me let me share the screen uh, with the. Uh, let me give you the glimpse of uh, those uh, booklets which I was talking about, if I may so. Sure. But I have to. Art integration back. manual, right? Right, right. Just one handbook I have for the sharing. Let me just, if I may, uh, you know, take the screen there. Mr. Dilip, you can speak. Yes, so meanwhile, you can speak, please. Please unmute, Mr. Dilip. Please unmute. Hello, good evening to all. Uh, evening, sir, I would sir. like to tell you, as per the CBSC, uh, we had taken this uh, into the account, and uh, last year we had a project on the Odisha, Maharashtra mm. state. I am from Power Public School Art Teacher, and we have done an excellent project on this art integration project. So Maharashtra and Odisha, we have worked on it, and we had a recently a art exhibition with name of Kala Setu. So okay. it was a very integrated project with all core subjects, and it was a teamwork. So I can share. We can see the. We can share share you the slides also. On the Bharat Sahadaya group? Yes, sir. Please share. Please share. Yeah. yeah. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Uh, Sandhya, ma'am, would you want to ask a question? Please unmute and ask. Sandhya, to your ma'am. Sally, ma'am, are you unmuting her? No, I should okay, I will do I Miss Sandhya, you can unmute and speak. Please unmute. Maybe she can put it in the chat box so because she's going to be difficult.
Is there any she further was not questions? Able to admit. She was not able to do that. Okay, ma'am, let's wind up. It's almost you know, one and a half hours. All right. I hope we have not overshot the time. I We have uh, completed no, no, in precise, the time. Precise. It's precise. Great. Thank you for having me. Thank you, dear educator. Have a pleasant evening ahead. Thank you, Sachi, ma'am. Thanks for the honor. Thank you, everyone. Well, thank you, Priya, ma'am. And I'm sure there are so many takeaways from this session. And uh, you've answered all the queries patiently. Now, let me conclude today's program by expressing my deep sense of gratitude to everyone. I begin by expressing words of gratitude to our brilliant resource person, Ms. Priya Gambir, for this outstanding session. And thank you so much. And uh, the icing of the, on the cake was, of course, that last uh, poem that you said, the English teachers, you know, when we hear to any kind of poems, whether it's Hindi or English, we get excited. Uh, especially, you told so many things about English uh, subject. I'm going to go back and do all those things in my class. I love the, the example that you gave for Mother's Day uh, based on the poem in grade 12. I'm definitely going to do that uh, this Monday. So thank you so much, ma'am, for this outstanding Pleasure. session. Pleasure is all mine, ma'am. Thank you. Uh, words of appreciation to the wonderful leader, Dr. Abdul Salam, sir, for organizing such remarkable webinars. Thank you so much, sir and giving us uh, opportunities to express as well. Thank you so much, sir. And next, deep sense of appreciation to the wonderful IT and technical head, Mr. Arun Bohan. Thank you so much. The introduction that was in the beginning, I was taken aback. Thank you so much for that. It was really nice. And next, I would like to extend my thanks to all the participants for their contribution in making this webinar a success. I conclude by wishing you all a relaxed weekend. Thank you all once again. I request a love, sir wind up the session. Over to you, sir. Thank you, Sharni, ma'am, for the nice job. Thank and you. And also for the wonderful, you know, the rendering by Priya, ma'am. Being the head of the art integration of her school, she is very well versed with the subject. And I'm pretty sure that, you know, I mean, the participants have evaluated the program, the session, and they've given their comments. Uh, very informative and uh, very it's a wonderful session many were commenting so kudos to priya gandhir ma'am thank you so much for you know your time your uh, preparation your entering definitely uh, this is going to help uh, uh, the educators a lot uh, dear educators we will be sharing this uh, recorded uh, you know video through our uh, youtube uh, please visit Barasakodaya YouTube and uh, you can see, you can take it as a reference book for your later, you know, uh, preparation. And uh, thank you very much, uh, Mr. Dilip Pawar from Maharashtra. And congratulations to you for uh, making a wonderful project on art integration. Definitely, that is going to be an example uh, 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 for many educators who are looking forward to, you know, about, for preparing this, this year's art integrated project. So thank you so much, uh, Mr. Dilip and uh, all those who have joined. Uh, we have, you know, uh, sat for more than one and a half hours. I truly, you know, appreciate your uh, dedication uh, to your profession. It's a wonderful service you are doing uh, to the children, to the nation. Definitely, you will, you know, get rewarded. So, thank you so much uh, once again, everybody, especially Priya, ma'am. Without uh, your preparation, uh, I group. have one more bit to share, sir. If you may allow. Yeah, please, please go ahead. Please. The last bit, dear educators, uh, we are aware with the peer educator program which uh, CBSE runs. Your art integration works well with that. Okay, so if you have enrolled yourself, the last. Uh, Four days were being, uh, you know, given for the training. So uh, we have won the exemplary award in that. And I was the coordinator. And uh, that was a program where 200 schools from across India have participated. So if uh, you were going to take your exhibitions uh, there and your uh, art uh, integrated uh, projects there, it will going to be, uh, you know, exhibited and the entire 
pan india schools were going to take a look of that and certainly will going to appreciate and you will get your recognition there thank you sir thank you ma'am uh, that's going to be a wonderful opportunity for all who wish to you know showcase the their exhibitions so thank you all thank you shalini ma'am thank you everybody have a good night thank you everybody good night